thanks very much for tuning in today. A lot to take on board, but I thought what I'd do is um, all the things I was quite static sitting down. I thought what I would do is I'd take you around and show you how I put this together. Imagine the fun I've had here. And yes, I have gone a little bit loop to loop, but come on, I'll show you. So things like this. This was from Ikea. It's a little sheepskin rug. You usually put it at the end of your floor, on your bed. I've put them over the back of my chairs. Now these were chairs that I had in a show home and they were black velvet. So I got the local upholsterer, Art of Upholstery, great guy. And he, I had two remnants left over, um, which I really, really liked. I got in touch with, this is Prestigious Fabrics and did this crazy kind of tartan thing with that sort of soft mallow pinky gray in the inside, just for something a little bit different. And rooms like this that you're not in all the time, you can afford to be a little bit more fun. Case in point, got these cushions, thought they were a bit boring, so I sewed some crazy feathers into them as well. So it's all about having a good laugh and a good joke about things as well. I love this room. Um, when these curtains were being made, <laughs> not everyone's choice of the best solution of design and on the trim there. Now, I mentioned before, Curtain Wise, who do all my curtains, they said when they were putting this uh, lime green trim on, they thought someone had murdered Orville the duck. Um, so I'm sorry, girls, if you had feathers everywhere. Um, I just thought it's a little bit of fun. I can change it. It's just tacked on to the edge there, but it's just a little bit of fun. And I thought, you know what? This is where I can come outside and go absolutely bonkers. A uh, little light above there, um, fantastic garden seating. Now these could be great, we talked about someone earlier about the patio area. This furniture is just a little bit different, um, it can be used inside or outside. It's a timber base, it's got a good washable seat on it and it's got a lovely string rattan effect. And I mentioned earlier, if you bought something you're not that happy with it, you could get some rattan or string and bind it around the edge and make it look a little bit different. Get a funky tray, pop it on your coffee table, something for a little bit of colour. Uh, these were left over from a show home as well, which I absolutely love. It's a sort of fake, it's called mock croc. It's actually plastic, but uh, it just gives another kind of jungly kind of, I've said before I wanted this to be the Safari Scott Lodge as if I've been traveling around the world and I brought this fantastic image of things back to you. Uh, unusual mirrors, I mentioned before, check department stores, check online, um, Dunnell Mill do a great range of mirrors and just a little bit of fun with everything. Um, in town where I live, a uh, great shop. It's the um, the outlet factory store, Toffs, and I've got this range of baskets now. I've got a supplier, which these can cost nearly a hundred pounds. I got all three of these for fourteen ninety nine, and they're great if you've got people coming around. You can bring like, snacks out in them. You can use them for newspapers, storage. But I just love them, and they're so cheap. And on to yes, my new best friend. My flamingo. I got this from Toffs as well. I just absolutely love it. It's anything that just puts a little bit of a smile on your face, especially in this day and age. Let's just have some fun with it. Okay. Now, on the other side of things, um, there are lots of um, companies who sell crazy, wacky lampshades, but Cottle Light Centres in Glasgow. Um, there's one in Edinburgh and one in Newcastle as well. I found this fantastic prestigious velvet. Prestigious is the company, a uh, fabric company, and it's almost like a vintage velvet with little birds on it. And I got these stunning lampshades made. Uh, they are over the top. They're not everyone's cup of tea, but I just thought with the blend of something a little bit crazy, the almost watermark inspired feature wallpaper, the funky chairs, the crazy rug. I've even got the old Birkenstocks on. You can see what I was talking about during the week. We've got the wooden flooring, that's the carnadine with the rug in between. It's just about having a little bit of fun. And if you can't do that just now, then when can you do it? So have a look at your outside in space, look at your patio, turn your chair around from the TV, Pop out into the garden and just have some fun. Come on.